How are you? Fine, sir. What's all I got? Silas, how are you? Fine, sir. Where is my wife? Okay, madam is inside. Okay. Okay. Madam has been feeling lonely. See? Will you shut up? Did I ask you that? Come on, bring out the things from the boat and take them inside. Oh. Hey. hey, hi, love. Oh. How was your trip there? Ah, wonderful. Very wonderful. So, how are you? Mm, same way you left me. It's okay, I'm back now. <laughs> Let's go inside. I hope you're not rushing back so soon. No? Um, I, I hope so. But for now, I am back to stay with my lovely pretty wife. I've really missed you. I have a lot of things to tell you. Oh, bro.
our daughter Rosalind has been married for over one year now. She hasn't gotten pregnant. And you as a mother have not bothered to find out what is wrong with her. Oh, Sondo, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Am I the God that puts children in the womb of women? So you are cross-questioning me. You mean I should do the functions and duties of a mother? Is that it? Or you think being a mother is simply to open your legs and drop the child and people shout and jubilate all along the law for you and you are happy? Is that it, Ijoma? Or something, my dear husband. I have trained Rose very well. She has gotten married to Chris. And she is in her husband's house, living in peace. So please, leave me alone. What do you want me to do, Asando? What? Got him married. The witch husband. The one you rigged like the rigged elections. Tell me. Where is your son in law? When last did you see Chris? That stupid son in law. He's either in Dubai or Japan or Turkey or heaven knows where. How will he be pregnant in one? Nonsense. That is your business. That is your business. As for me, I've always wanted a rich young man as a son in law. Look at this house. If it wasn't because of Chris, would you be living in a house like this? Papa! Papa like you! Now my son in law has given us a place and you are living comfortably and you are still shouting. Where are these girls? Sometimes she's withdrawn and she keeps to herself. Well, she's behaving like the new wife she is. After one year of marriage. She's just a quiet girl. <laughs> that girl is a slow poison. But she doesn't talk like that. Do you know there's no smoke without fire? I went to Chris's house and I was told he hasn't come back. So, what has that got to do with Rose's attitude? You will not understand. But when you get married and things are not working out the way you want, then you will know why this snail does not run. Yes. But mom, why hasn't she gotten pregnant? Is it because she doesn't want to lose her shape? Oh, shut up. Don't talk like that. You won't understand. 
when you get married, then you will understand. Is that what you're saying? Chris, how do you expect me to have a job when you hardly even perform your duties these days? Look, 
A child will come when it will come, okay? Look, if you're not interested in having children, I am. Chris, what's wrong with you? Did you, you have virtually turned me into a married spinster, Chris. When I'm relating, you're hardly there. You're not even there. Why are you punishing me? Look, business before pleasure, darling. I'm sorry. I'll see you when I get back, okay? I gotta go. Bye-bye. Loneliness is my name. Loneliness is my portion. All because I am married. Married to I have become married and single. Richard! Hey, oh, big sister, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Bye, thank you. All right, come upstairs. All right. So you're alone as usual. Big sister, you know I never supported your marriage. Shut up, Richard. What do you know about marriage, eh? Oh. Sorry. I will shut up. I don't know anything about marriage, but I can see you are happily married. Richard, why did you come to see me? What's the problem? I came here to have my dinner. I am broke. <laughs> Always broke. Sure. It's typical of students. Bring Silas downstairs, tell him to give you some food. When you're ready to be, tell me I'll give you some money. Alright, fabulous. is like that or not. I don't have his time. No man can make me Jackie Phillips his slave. None of this man is what dying for. He hasn't got into that. Ben is a good guy and that is why he's my friend. And for the fact that two of you have let us understand that it's not enough reason for you to stop seeing him. I've made my point clear. I mean look at me. I'm too big for any man to toy with. That man has not been born. Okay, let's go that next time. That is not why I'm here. I'm here on business. Good. So. So have you made the letter for the minister? Yes. Good. When am I getting it? Tomorrow. All right then. Um, let's just let him. Oh, Jackie. Rosie, Rosie. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I'm so sorry I've not been able to see you. It's all right. It's busy. I can imagine. Thank you. Um, Bobby. 
being my friend was. We've been friends a lot. We're still friends. Okay? She's married. <laughs> I'm not. No big deal. This is Bobby. He's my boyfriend's partner. Oh, really? No, that's just mine. Yeah, put together. <laughs> okay. Rose. Now, today that we're in my office, I hope everything is fine. Jackie. I was really feeling so low this morning, and you know. And I couldn't think of any other person to talk to, but you, I hope I'm not disturbed. No, 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 it's okay. You're welcome anytime. Oh, feel free. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, uh, Bobby. I better to leave. Okay then, uh, Bobby. I'll see you after tomorrow. Oh, okay. Follow up that deal. All right? All right. So, take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care all right, you too, bye. Check. How is Grace? Grace? Grace has traveled again last night. Don't tell me. I mean, you, 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 you need to do something about yourself. Jackie, now I think I'm losing her. I'm losing her. The whole thing is really making me sick. Huh. Honestly, I I can't understand Chris anymore. I mean, since he started his abroad business, he has changed completely. Is that why he doesn't have time for his wife? Oh. Does he visit us at home again? <laughs> Please don't make me laugh. Visiting. Does he still remember we exist? He hasn't finished visiting his mother at home. Yeah, it's you, his friend. But no rap. Can people, because of money, forget their friends and beloved ones? I'm not the person to answer that question at all. I mean, it's my friend I really pity. I know what she's passing through. Eh? Yeah. Imagine. I couldn't stay without you when you traveled for that seminar for three days. Not to talk <laughs> of one whose husband is hardly ever at home. I can't marry such a man. Look at you. <laughs> Look, I tell you what, dear. If you were Rose mm -hmm. and you are in love, you'll get used to it. Darling, please stop it. If it's a joke, stop it. No, but I'm telling you the gospel truth. Oh. The whole thing is, is just... I, I can't believe it. I mean, everything was looking really nice and... Like... Huh? God will see her through. So, when am I expecting you back at home? Very soon. How soon? Very soon. Don't all worry. Right, Don't take right. too much time. Uh. She's sometimes unhappy. You now don't like the way she's behaving. Eh? Don't you know that Rose is human? But mom, she's not happy in that marriage. Shut up your mouth and talk about things that concern you. Don't you know that if my son-in-law does not travel, he'll be less rich. And if he's less rich, it will affect you and I, and me in particular. But mom, money's not everything. Money's not everything. Mom is stupid. 
instead of you to go and face your books and read your books and study very hard and make first class, you are here talking about and ranting about nonsense. Eh? Instead of you to go and face your books and make first class in your course, and join my son in law in his business so that you can make money for your money, you are here ranting nonsense. Look, let me tell you. Rose and Chris are in love, and there is nothing you or I can do about it. But mom, can't you see? Shut up and go back to school and face your study to my friend. And I just hope that Rose gave you for money. Nonsense. Ah! People will let me be. Your father will talk about Chris. You, you come and talk about uh, about Rose again. What is it? Because I know you don't go on fruitless journeys. Yes. So what do I offer you? Um, let's see. Cheers will be okay. Cheers. Silas! Silas! Okay. Silas, please get my friend and I two glasses of cheers. Okay, I'm putting some ice cubes. Okay. Hurry. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> so what brings you here, Jackie? What do you want to sell this time? I know. Um... Yeah. You know you're a very good friend. Mm-hmm. Good. What you told me the last time you came to my office gave me great concern. You see, it's not good for a woman to stay alone. You need to be emotionally stable. I know. Oh. Alright, thank you. Silas. I thought I asked you to put in some ice cubes or something. It's okay. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Okay. You're sorry again. Please. What is wrong with this guy? Yeah, you are saying something. I am saying that you need someone so that you can keep body and soul together. You know. I don't know how you mean. Ross, you need a man. A boyfriend who can take care of your emotional problems. You know, he don't he doesn't stop you from being married to your husband or loving him. You don't have to feel his absence. Jackie. Yes. <sighs> Jackie, you know, I'll just pretend like I didn't hear a thing of what you said. Jackie, please, please. I don't I, I really don't understand what you just said. Oh, come on. I love my husband, you. Even as a graduate, you are still timid. Do you know what your husband is doing out here? Do you think he's faithful to you? How many of these men are faithful to their wives? Can your husband stay in a hotel for weeks or months without having a babe warm up his bed? Stop it, Jackie. Jackie! Stop it, Jackie! Please! You know, I'll just pretend I didn't hear what, what you just said, okay? I really will ask you that. I love my husband, my husband loves me. And I'm sure he's not cheating on me. I'm sure he's faithful. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Please, can we change this topic? Fine. Fine. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can see you're not in the mood. Maybe some other time. Call me. You can call me. All right? All right? Take care of yourself. Look, Jackie. Jackie, I didn't. Silas. Silas. Go lock the door. I can't believe it's real. Loneliness is my name. Loneliness is my portion. All because I am married, married to a man I love, but he's nowhere to be found. Oh, Chris, where are you? 
Silas, I'll be fine, thank you. Well, what is the problem? A guy will not be happy if he gets to know that you're crying when he's away. Thank you very much, I'll be okay. I'll call you when I need you. He said that I should make sure you don't have any problems. Silas! Leave me alone, please. For, for seven months, honey. I had my first baby through CS. And you were pregnant after seven months. I had to wait for one full year. I don't want to die. If I die now, you can marry another woman. That's not fair, and you know it. What is the truth? If I die now, God forbid, won't you marry another woman? Nora. Men will always be men. Nora, can, can we forget this issue? Can, can we talk about something else? What? Someone just drove in there. Let me check. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, right. Is your husband around? Yes. <laughs> Who do we have here? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Yeah. Okay. How is everything? And how is the family? Oh, great, great. Uh, and yours? Uh, I'm hungry in there. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank so you. what's up now? Mm, I was feeling very bored at home. And since you guys decided not to come and see me, I decided to come and see you. Oh, in that case, <laughs> yeah. I'll get you something to drink. Really. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Would you prefer wine or juice? Uh, wine would be fine. Okay, I'll give you wine. Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> what are we discussing? Mm, nothing more, just girly talk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm. It's been hot. Thank you. So, where's yours? Mm, I don't need any. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you know, men don't like soft stuff like this. I had one. You know? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Maybe you should uh, spend this weekend with us. T today is Saturday. You can go back on Monday. Um, you know Chris is not around. And I don't like leaving the house empty. The more reason you should stay with us. <laughs> Maybe some other time. <laughs> you know I'll give anything to stay with you guys. <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay. Yeah. Um, um, I was hoping to ask if you could um, let your wife come on the ride with me. I just want to get a few stuff for my mother-in-law. Why not? Oh, really? It's okay by me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. So, in that case, I'll get back and I'll join you soon. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Ah, so how is work? Oh, great. <laughs> God is doing great. Mm, I can imagine. Uh. <laughs> Tell me, where did uh, Chris travel to this time around? Chris? <laughs> he went to the States. America? Ah. 
<laughs> I hope he will come home with plenty of goodies. Ah, you know Chris now. He loves perfs. You know he's a perf freaker. I am really true. I know. <laughs> so please, you'll keep mine. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Enjoy yourself, please. Thank you very much. Are not serious. Honestly, I am very, very serious. Yeah. I love that girl. She's beautiful and cute. Can't you see her legs? Bobby, I know you. You're a heartbreaker. Besides, my friend is too fragile for that. I don't want you to break her heart. Okay. This time, I will not. <laughs> I hope I'm not being infatuated, though. Infatuated? Oh, forget it. Those can be very stubborn at times, no, you know? No, not for me. Any babe, Bob, just must fall. <laughs> what you can do is please accompany me to that place and allow the rest. Okay, if you say so. But first, we must go for business. I must. Yes. Punctuality is the soul of business, they say. Huh? So. Alright, so you drive in your car, I'll drive in mine. So. You're okay. <laughs> something about her. I keep warning you about her. You know, the reason why I'm so close to her is that both of us went to the same school. We're even in the same hostel on campus. She was in year three and I was in year one. And she really helped me. Even after we left school, you know, we were both modules for a very long time until I got married. She helped me with the brain and all that. And so what? I just think she's my friend. Her type does not settle down, can't you see? Even at her age. I mean, she's not the type of friend you need. I mean, she's, she's not to be associated with Rose. There's definitely no way I'm going to listen to her. I'm not going to be unfaithful to my husband, someone I took an oath with in front of God. Don't even try it. I'm definitely not going to try it. I won't. Don't. I can't try it. Me. But you know, things have not been easy, me. I'm always, every night, and it gets worse at night because I'm always rolling on my bed from one corner to the other. I'm so lonely. God, is this what marriage is all about? It is not. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It is not, and will not always be like this. You know, Nora, sometimes I'm so jealous of you. Look at you. You have everything going for you. Your husband is here. You have everything for yourself. Me, I'm so lonely. It's I'm so all tired. Right. It's all right, Rose. It will pass. It will pass. All I need for you is just to hang in there. That's all. Pass. I terribly hope so. Let me, let me rush you out.
Lydia now. I tell you, we can stop, 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 that's it. But I can catch you. Hey, hey, I'm fine. It's your welcome. Come, let's go inside. Uh, it's okay, I'll come. Um, I hope you're not having any kind of problems with Rose. No, 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 no. no. I want to, I want to thank you. I'm very, very happy. Will you bring him into this house? It's nothing. It's nothing. Is she around? No, she's not. She went out. She went out. <laughs> Woman like you, you cannot sit at a place. No wonder you've not been able to give my brother a child. <laughs> Patience. Even if I've not been able to have a child, at least I'm married. How about you, Patience? Eh? Go and find a man and marry. Go and get married, Patience. You're very stupid to say that. What did you say? I said you're stupid and I can say worse things if I want to. Patience. Go and sit. Go and settle down. It's the frustration that is getting to you. Me. But watch it. The next time you come to my house and behave this way, I might not be too nice with you. My mother has to bear this. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a second. I could help you with that one. Huh? I can help you. Here. Mm -hmm. You can have this for your taxi fare. Eh? When you get to your mother's place, call me so I'll know you've got something. I'm busy to school. Tell him I said this is the second time I'm sending this phone to him. Uh huh, you should be paid for it at this time. Okay, my dear. Rosie, Rosie! <laughs> How are you? Hello, Angel. Hello. You're welcome, man. Why are you sounding so cold? My sister in law just left here. I'm in such a bad mood today. She really upset me, you know. It's all right. Hmm? Maybe some other time. No, but you guys can actually come in. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Just take care of yourself. Next time we meet, I hope you give us that angelic smile. Take care. Bye. Bye. You said Rose called you a shameless fool? Yes, ma'am. What did you call her? I didn't call her anything. I didn't say pimp. I just came to my brother's house and the next thing she started abusing me. She even said that if I like her, she'd tell you that you can't do anything to her. Patience. Yes, ma'am. I don't believe you. You want to divide this family. Mom, is that all you have to say? Yes! That is all I have to say. Leave my daughter not alone. Are you hearing me? Girl is a good girl for Christ's sake. You, you went to ask her where she was coming from. As what? As her husband or as Kotima? I don't like the way you're sounding, oh, mommy. I, I, I don't like the way you're sounding. Uh -huh. Instead of supporting me, I will not support you. Go and get married to your own husband so that we can have some peace. I can't believe it's real 
Loneliness is my name Loneliness is my portion All because I am married Married to a man I love But he's nowhere to be found Oh, Chris, where are you? This is not what you promised I have become married and single because you're not there for me Please come home I'm missing you I am lonely Days run into nights And nights become days but where's my husband? Chris, you're torturing me. You are killing me. My loneliness is worse at night. I sleep alone all along. Oh, Chris, where? This is not what you promised I have become married and single Should I say? Should I say I'm fine? You are fine in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. Um, I was just going out. Huh? Yes, thank God I met you. Shall we go inside? Uh, yeah. Okay, no problem. Let me help you with that. <laughs> okay, my dear. Uh, how about that, dear? He's fine. He extends his greetings to you. Rose, no, I'm worried. That's why I can't see you. Worried about what? It's over your state. Is she outside? No. I came alone to see you. Really? I hope there's no problem. No, actually. You see, um, from that first day I saw you, it's been on my mind. I'm sorry, I don't know how you mean. Yes. Since that day I saw you, you've possessed me. Excuse me, do you realize that I'm a married woman? Chris, please, it doesn't matter. I want to be part of you. I want to love you. I want to take care of your blood pressure. 
Jesus, this man has gone crazy. Yes, I have. Because of your love. Look, you had better leave my house right now before I turn my back on you.
the Mugu I was trying to bring back to life. Bring her back to life. You! You're dead. Frustrated. If this is what marriage is all about, I would rather stay single. Dead woman. Suit yourself. Don't you ever open the door for that one again. Do you understand me? Don't even try it. Go oh, wrong. Hello? Nora! Oh, Rosla! <laughs> Hi, it's me. Mm-hmm. Guess what? What? Chris is back. <laughs> when did he come back? Yeah, he came back two days ago. And guess what? He has been spoiling me with tender love and care. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, and guess, guess, guess what again? Guess what? Just guess. What? Guess now. What? Alright, I'll tell you. He's taking me to Tropicano Resort Hotel in Abuja for the weekend. Are you serious? I envy you! Yeah! <laughs> I'll call you when we get back. Okay, I'll call you when we get there. I'll tell you all the gist now, except that you know the details. <laughs> uh, please buy something when you're coming for me, okay? I will, I will. Uh, and greet Baba for me, okay? Thank you very much for everything, alright? I appreciate it. Alright, yeah. Bye. Thank you. 
Don't be silly. I'm giving you 20% and I'm taking 80%. I got the deal, remember? I got you, put that. That is rush. Now get out of my office. Get out. Is that the way you want it? Is that a threat? Come again. Is that a threat? Don't you forget that I am Jackie Phillips. Who oh, ask me the boys? They will tell you who I am. Small boy. Get out of my office! Teaching you, and Nora. So you have allowed her to influence you. Maybe that's where she goes to catch her phone when when Chris travels, and then she pretends to be a saint. Don't make such a mess. Now you listen to me. Listen to me, I say. I don't ever want to see her legs in my house again. Is that clear? I don't want to know. You're joking. You are joking. What did you say? I said you're a joker. Ah! Stupid. You slapped me. performing your duty as a husband or that Rose has refused to get pregnant? Well, Mama, Chris is the one to answer that question concerning why I'm not even getting pregnant. How would I get pregnant, Mama, when Chris is always traveling from one point to the other, from Tokyo to Dubai? 
or Japan today or America tomorrow. He's the one to ask. He prefers making money to raising a family. Ask him. Christopher, do you still remember your mother's name? My name is Juan Kego. Children are greater than wealth. All the money you are wearing, what are you wearing them for? Stones? No one has not had the time to see me. I don't need your money. I'm tired of seeing your money. I want to see you. That's the joy of every mother. I want to cuddle my grandchildren. Is that clear? Okay. I promise I will make amends, okay? Mama, you'll see your grandchildren very soon since he has promised that he'll take a bit. How about my coming here today? What's why? <laughs> anyway, Mom, how is patient's my sister? <laughs> she's fine. But she's giving me <laughs> real headache. Uh, Mama, you talk as if you don't know patients. Oh. She'll be used to her by now, Mom. <laughs> uh, how, how is the fiance? When you see Fetches, you ask her. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, let's leave Fetches out of this. What did you buy for me? Oh, you didn't buy anything for me? Uh, uh, no, of I course I did, Mama. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mama, how has it been? Well, business as usual. So, how are you coping? is around and close. You don't handle men with kid gloves. You have to hold him. No, no, you have to try to try. You have to try harder. You have to try because they are like that. Men are like that. Okay. Try harder. I'm going to put a lot more pressure on you. You have to trace. You really have to talk to him. So, Mama, how have you been? You're looking very good. I like your trace. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> But please, let's go inside. I did not come here for a feast. Now listen, Christopher, I don't like the way you are treating my daughter. It would have been better if Rose was not married. Don't worry, sir. Everything is going to be all right, I promise. Oh, everything is going to be all right. For how long have you been promising? I am warning you, if this continues, I will be forced to come and take my daughter back home. Gone your mouth! Gone your mouth there! <laughs> oh! So I am talking nonsense. Is that it? No, Papa, it's just that. No! It's okay, my dear. But if anything goes wrong tomorrow, don't come to my house. I am leaving. My law. It's late, and since the car has broken down, let me drop. Thank you. I can find my way. Okay, let me escort. Shut up! You? Are you my daughter? You? I doubt. Like mother, like daughter. I went to Christopher's house to warn him not to play with fire and that he should treat my daughter well. Do you know what my daughter told me? You, my husband. My daughter disgraced me in front of my in-law. She said everything is all right. Hey, maybe everything is all right. Huh? Ah. Okay. Then continue to pray that everything is all right. Because if anything goes wrong, I will not only reject her as a daughter, I will take you to your people. Christo. Ha! After all, I'm, 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 I'm graduate for Christ's sake and I know what I want. Ah! 
I don't even see anything wrong with that young man. Oh. Rose, if you marry him, we will benefit a lot from him. It's just that your father is very stubborn and does not want me to change this rag of poverty. I will tell him that you are already pregnant. Okay. Trust your mother now. Yes, I will tell him that you are already pregnant. And we will act it out like the film people do it. Yes, how about that, Rose? Mama, you know, you know Papa is trouble. I don't think that's a good idea. Huh? Trust me. Hey, your father, I've lived with him for many years and I know him very well. Trust me. Hey, it will work. Are you sure? Yes. Ah! Just make sure that if this plan works very well mm. and you get married to Chris, that you will change this house for us and get us a more befitting house. But don't worry about that. And move that. us oh. out from this one bedroom oh, flat. Just make sure I get, just do anything you can to make sure I get married to him. You know he's the one you I You are as good as married to Chris. Just leave yeah. me. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me please just yes. try it. Right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't yeah. worry. I said, trust me. I know your father. He's my husband. I know how to walk him. I will walk on him and he will do it. Don't worry. Oh, he will give his consent. Don't worry. Thank you very much. <laughs> also, we are a husband. I don't know where to start from. Then start from the beginning. My dear, ask Rose who got her pregnant. What? I didn't, I didn't hear what you said. I said, ask Rose. Ask Rose Lee. Who put her in the family way? Yes. Family way? Yes. Rosemary, did you hear what your mother said? Are you deaf? Please, my husband. Please, do it. Let's not call his mother. First of all, find out who is responsible. Rosalie! Now tell me, who is responsible for that bastard? Nobody has to come in. What are you driving at? What do you want? 
What more am I driving at? Tell me, swear to me, Chris, that nobody bumps your head. You think I'm not noticing that you not be wearing your wedding band? Hmm. Swear to me, oh, Chris, swear to me. Swear to me that you have not been unfaithful. Swear. Expecting a grandchild. We are both expecting a grandchild. <laughs> they did not be praised. Yes, you, sir. you kept this away from me all this while. Of course, you know now you will say it's for one night, so I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> Come inside. I know you are hungry. Come and eat your oh. food. <laughs> oh, that is what I want. Yes. I don't like the reports I last gave you. That 
girl is taking too much. Patients or women are erratic when they are pregnant. Yes. Your father, when he was alive, used to avoid me when I'm pregnant. So there's nothing strange there. Mommy, her attitude towards that boy is something else. You had better talk to her. Uh, she's not the only pregnant woman now. Or she would run away because she's pregnant. Patience. I know you've never liked your brother's wife. But you see, the way you treat her now, that's the way you're going to be treated when you get married. Mommy, are you wishing me bad luck? Oh, it's not bad luck. Yeah. Patience, let all sleeping dogs lie. There's nothing you can do that will make me hate my daughter-in-law. Nothing. Meanwhile, the way you're carrying on, no man can stay with you. So you had better change before it's too late. Uh -uh. There's a way he behaves of late. The last time he went on a trip abroad, Silas left the house without even telling me. And when I asked him, he told me he went to Patience's place. And you know your sister does not like me. <laughs> Honey, I'm beginning to think that they're planning something. So, what's on your mind? Honey, I've been having terrible dreams about Silas lately. And seeing him these days just, just irritates me. It irritates me badly. Honey, I want him to leave the house. Let me ask you. If he leaves, will you be comfortable? Honey, yes. I'll be very comfortable. I'll be very comfortable. You know, in, in, in this condition, I, I will be very comfortable. Yes. He will leave then. Huh. Honey. Thank you so much. You don't know what this means to me. God, I love you. I love you too. Uh, oh, you're welcome. You know what? Let me take a stroll. Alright, I'll be back for you know it. Or is there anything you need? Uh, let me wake you. 
some kind of pregnancy exercise and you need to come with me, you slow me down. Just wait for me. Are you sure you don't need anything? Uh, no, nothing. Just enjoy yourself. I'll be back very soon. No problems. And um, take it easy. You know you're <laughs> due. <laughs> I'll be back before you do it again. Just take it easy. Sorry for all that I've put you through lately. I regret everything, but I guess there's not much I can do now. I really hope that you'll understand and find a place in your heart to forgive me. Madam, if anybody had told me that you would treat me this way, I would not have believed it. Was. What did I do to you? <laughs> but why? You have not done anything to me, Silas. I have to worry. Chris will be coming out any minute from now. Silas, you are a young man with a very bright future. You shouldn't be wasting away in this house as a houseboy. I have a check of 200,000 naira here. Silas, I want you to have it. I want you to start afresh, a new beginning. Please take it. You can start something. No, madam. No. I don't want it. Please. Let me see if you don't want me again in this house. Don't worry. Silas. Please have this.
back, Anna. So how much are you going to work for? Chris said I should leave the house. Chris asked you to leave the house? Yes, ma'am. It's okay. Stop crying. Wipe your tears. Yeah? I'm sure that it's that his wife that made him do it. Auntie, ma'am, please. I don't want to... Oh, please, please get up. It's all right. It's all right. Mm, you okay. won't go back to the village. You will stay right here in this house. But, mom, why would Chris ask this boy to leave without telling me? After all, I brought him from the village in the first place. Silas. Have you been having problems with your mother? No. It's just that she gets angry with me over every little thing. It's okay. Patience. Take him inside and show him the Jesus room. Let me see this.
gave you yours and they gave me mine. That money belongs to me. Ijoma, what are you going to do with all that money? I am going to use it to take care of myself. Looking good is good business. If you did not see me looking this beautiful, would you have married me? Would you also do? Before I open my eyes, the money. Which money? The money. You are joking. No. You are joking. Also, I said you are joking. Uh, 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 <laughs> my son in life, yeah, welcome. Uh, my son, guess what? What? Ruth has given birth to a baby boy. Hey! Oh, I am a grandfather, and I am now a father. <laughs> May the Lord be praised. Hey! So I am now a grandmother. Hey! You are now a man. Silas, tell me the truth. I'm not lying, I'm not lying. I've told you the whole truth. I don't believe you. Why were you having problems with Rose? I picked up a check of 200,000 Naira at the backyard on my way out. And that check bears your name. Where did you get it from? So this check was in my pocket. Um, it, it, it fell up from my pocket when I was going to wash my clothes. Oh, cool. So you forged somebody's signature so you can go and sign for all their money? No, no. So you're a criminal? No, 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 I didn't know. And I thought you were a good boy. But, no, I'm not a criminal. You're a thief. And I'm going to call the police for you. I think please, please, please. Please, please. Okay. My, my, my mother gave it to me. Your mother? Yeah. What did your madam give you such a huge amount of money for? Are you deaf? What for? Let me just call. No, 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 Did you have anything? No. no. Her newborn baby has exactly the same breath mark as you have. 
silence. You know that I brought you to Lagos. And if you tell me the truth, I can ask my mother to set you up in business. And then no one else will hear about this. Now for the last time, did you have anything to do with Rose?
God will bear me witness. God will bear me witness that I tried, Chris. I really tried. I tried so hard to resist all temptations, Chris. Even patience is fiancé. I told them we are going to take care of the burial expenses. At least we should do that. Yes. No, there's no other problem. So how are you? Okay. So I'll come over the evening and see you. Hmm? Take care of yourself, eh? I've 
this pregnancy wasn't for Chris. God, I should have known if I had known that before this day. It wouldn't have caused me this much pain. It's hard to marry you. I leave you for any love. That is why you offered me a drink when I came in. I know that my daughter has committed an abominable act. But I don't support her. I don't support her at all. After the whole episode, when she came out of the house, she said, I'm crying. She wouldn't eat and she wouldn't drink anything. You know, as a mother, I didn't know what to do. And you know she loves your son. Please meet me after me before you travel. When I come back, I'll be late. Joe, what is by 9 p.m.? But I have to be at the airport on time to check in. I'm preoccupied with the street now. My interest in that is not fair. You're not interested, is that what you're saying? Chris, how do you expect me to have a child when you hardly even perform your duties these days? Look, a child will come when it will come, okay? Look, if you're not interested in having children, I am. What's wrong with you? Picture, you have picture turned me into a Mary Spencer Chris. When I'm meeting you hardly there, you're not even there. Why are you punishing me? Business before pleasure, darling. I'm sorry. I'll see you when I get back, okay? I gotta go. Bye-bye. Why you go? I'm thinking. Thinking of what? A lot of things have happened to me lately. out there and somebody is willing to give you all that love out there just wait till he finds you somebody else will find you you're still very young and charming you don't have to throw away your future because of Chris it's not worth it your life must go on what has happened has happened and look let me tell you he's an evil man and I believe that whatever you did is an abomination and of course, because of you, you've hurt his pride, he will not come back to see you. Yes, he won't come back. So wipe your tears, wipe your tears, my dear. Eh? And face your life. It's okay. It's okay. Good day. Things don't interest me anymore. 
I, I, I even got involved into relationships because I wanted to forget you. But all I am trying to say is I want you back. I want you back in my life. I want you to come back home. I've missed you. Chris, she can't. Chris, she can't. I messed up so much. I can't face the shame. I can't. Oh, okay. You've messed up. So what? Everybody messes up once in a while. We're not perfect. If I wear your shoes, I, I know you'd forgive me too. Rose, please. I now realize that I, through my actions, though not deliberate, pushed you into doing what you did. I, I placed too much emphasis on money rather than raising a, a family. I, I neglected you. For all these, I. I'm sorry. I, I just want you to come back to me. I want us to forget the past and face the future together. I love you very much. And I've missed you. Where is the boy? He's inside. He's been fed inside. Please, ma'am. Could you, could you bring him out? Sure, why not? Hey, That's impossible. It's impossible. What is impossible? Empress, what do you mean? Chris is going to bring back that bitch into his house after all she did. It was your brother's fault. How can you leave a woman in the house and deliver from Jamaica to Japan to, to, to Dubai all over the world? Is she a piece of furniture? Don't you realize she has feelings? That bitch is an adulteress and she does not deserve to share a room with my brother. Oh, really? Tell me if you were in her shoes, you would have done worse than you thought so. Who are you to pass judgment anyway? I'm asking you. Anyway, for your information, day after tomorrow, we're going to bring her back into this family. Yes, Mom. And what happens to that bastard? I will take him. I'll bring him up. In this house? Yes. Mom, in this house? This is my house. Precious. You go and get married. When you get to your husband's house, you can give instructions. This is my husband's house. So I say what happens here. Mother, you can't bring that boy into this house. You can't bring that bastard into this house, you see. You want to bring him up on this family.
Okay. No, never mean to hurt you, I'm sorry. It's okay. I missed you. I missed you too. I've been alone. I missed you too, guys. Out of love, I have accepted my mistakes. I'm sorry, okay? Just give me time or I'll make a better. It's hard to believe that my joy has come to an end. Oh, oh, my heart is broken. I have been rejected. Is this my fate? Oh, what really happened? I cannot say 